Our towns and cities face a growing range of challenges in the 21st century, from the effects of climate change to increasing populations to inadequate infrastructure. Jacobs works to help cities adapt and transform in the face of these challenges, helping them to prepare for both the expected and the unexpected. Nick Thatcher reports. In the shadow of Salford's skyline, a new green open space has been developed for the local community to enjoy. And what was once the site of the old Manchester racecourse is now home to sports pitches, a wetland habitat and pathways for walkers, runners and cyclists. It's encouraged me to actually uh, do some exercise which I hadn't previously done before. This is quite new to me. Very good for mental health, I think it is my mood a lot being able to come here. I think it's a really nice space, it's nice for recreational use, for um, health and well-being, just to come out and enjoy some green space locally. It's a hidden gem that you wouldn't know existed here. But as well as supporting health and well-being, the primary purpose of this site is to protect local homes and businesses from flooding. For this basin can hold the equivalent in water, of 260 Olympic-sized swimming pools. During a flood event, the water levels in the River Irwell, which runs around the site, will rise. And as they rise, water will then spill into the basin and be impounded in the embankments. Then once the flood has passed, the water levels in the River Irwell will recede, and then water is released from the basin back into the river. Primarily, it's to provide flood protection to around 2,000 residential and commercial properties in Salford. But in addition, it's a, a green lung in the heart of an, an urban area. Jacobs were the lead designers on the project and worked with partners to ensure the scheme would have resilience to stand the test of time. And sustainability was key to this. All the materials excavated to create the basin were reused to build the embankments. Since the site's been finished, there have been a, a couple of flood events and the, the properties downstream that benefit from this asset have been really appreciative of that. But also everyone knows that climate change is now here, it's happening. All our schemes um, take into consideration the predicted impacts of climate change, higher river, river levels, more rain. So this scheme is designed for a hundred year life. So it's not just about now, it's providing that level of protection into the future. Building resilience in our cities not only requires us to understand how they operate today, but also the shocks and threats they may face in the future. And bold, imaginative, innovative schemes like this not only help to reduce risks, they can also bring the environment to life. So this is another part of the scheme where the Jacobson Environment Agency have worked together to create a more natural habitat. In Warrington, Mark Shepherd, Jacob's Director of Operations, is showing me how careful management at the water's edge is helping to transform this town. Part of the flood risk management scheme was to uh, create a, a wetland in this area. So we re-meandered the river through there and in times of flood this is used to store the flood waters until such time as it's safe to release them into the Mersey. And once again, this new wetland area, which has helped provide increased connectivity within the town, is proving popular with locals. It hasn't flooded over since they've rearranged it all. It smells better and you can actually hear birds more often now and it's kind of beautiful actually. In other parts of the town, harder defences against the River Mersey were needed and great care was taken to design these sympathetically. Well, as a, as a town, Warrington will benefit from having a reduced level of flood risk, allowing the community to be more confident, uh, more settled in the places that they live, and giving business and industry greater surety that one of the key risks of flooding has been reduced. These schemes are all about pushing the limits of what's possible, protecting our communities with sustainable solutions that challenge today and reinvent tomorrow.